Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Ubuntu 21.10, which is the latest version out in VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. Before we begin, I'm gonna run over the system requirements to get this installed. We're gonna be running this on a Windows 10 PC, so you're gonna need that operating system installed. And we're gonna need at least four gigs of RAM or more and 25 gigs of disk space. You're gonna need the VirtualBox and extension pack, as well as the ISO image for Ubuntu. And all the links and timestamps will be in the description below. So if you need to jump back and forth, you'll be able to easily do that. So I'm completely aware that these installations don't always go through smoothly. So I've added a forum to my website uh, where you can ask questions. And the website is forum.geekrar.com. And you can go ahead in there and you can post questions. And if any installation that you're doing, we cover a lot of different operating systems. So it's just a great resource if you're looking for some help. So with that out of the way, let's begin our installation. So we're at our Windows desktop and I have VirtualBox already opened. And what we need to do is download the ISO file for Ubuntu. So if you go to the official Ubuntu website, here is the URL and this will be linked in the description below. Uh, we have the long-term support version, which is 20.04.3, which is out. I already have a video on that. And if you wanna learn how to install that on VirtualBox, you can check out this video over here and I'll walk you through those steps. In this video, what we're actually gonna be doing is installing the latest version right now, which is 21.10. And you just have to click on download. It's gonna download the ISO file on your computer and then we can get down with installing it. So I'll jump over to that step. Okay, so I have the Ubuntu ISO file downloaded right here and it's saved in my downloads folder so I can easily find that when I'm doing the installation. I'm gonna open up my virtual box and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new virtual machine by clicking on the new button right over here. And what we're gonna be doing is just typing in the name of it, which is Ubuntu 10. okay. And we can leave everything else as default. If you wanna change your folder where you're storing it, say you don't have enough space on your C drive, you can just change the folder here to another path. Uh, we're gonna be leaving the type as Linux and the version as Ubuntu 64-bit. And then we can click on next. Okay, so the, the minimum amount of RAM that you want to install Ubuntu is four gigs of RAM. So I'm just gonna increase this to four. If you want it to be run, if you want it to run a little bit snappier, you can increase that as well. And then you can click on next. We're gonna be leaving this as default to create a virtual hard disk now, click on create. And we'll also be leaving this as default VDI as the option and then click on next. And we wanna leave it as dynamically allocated. We'll click on next. And for hard disk space, the minimum amount of hard disk space that you can have is 25 gigs. So we're just gonna be doing minimum installs right now. If you plan on installing a lot more apps, definitely wanna increase this based on how much you're gonna be installing. So 25 gigs is good just for a basic install. Click on create. So now we have the virtual machine set up. If you wanna add alternate options, you can select the virtual machine and click on settings. And in here is where you can boost up everything else that you want, like maybe uh, for the display, instead of 16 megs, you can increase this all the way, which I recommend doing. And then in system, you can go under processors tab and then you can just boost this up a bit as well. So it runs a little bit snappier. Recommend doing that as well. Four cores is usually best for a virtual machine. And then we can click on okay. And now we're ready to install the operating system. So we can just click on the start button here. And it's looking for a startup disk. So we're just gonna provide the ISO file, add it. There we go. And then we can choose it. And then we can click on start. Okay, so to do this installation, we wanna make sure that we're selecting the language that we're comfortable with. I'm gonna be using English, and then we're gonna be clicking on install Ubuntu. If you click on try, you're just gonna be using a live version. You're not fully installing it on your computer. So we'll click on install. I'll be leaving all the options as default and clicking on continue. And we'll be doing the normal installation and we'll allow the updates to download automatically as well. And then click on continue. So the next option is to erase the disk. Now you don't have to worry about erasing your entire hard drive. This is actually just a virtual drive that we've allocated space for. So it's safe to select that option and then you can click on install now. And we can confirm that we're writing changes to disk so we can click on continue. And I'm gonna be leaving my section as default and then clicking on continue. And then a username. So you can type in any username that you want here. And then your password. And then we'll click on continue.
Okay, so all the files have been completely copied over and the installation part is complete. We just need to restart the virtual machine. So we'll just click on restart now and it's gonna reboot the virtual machine and get back to the login screen. So let's let that take place. Okay, it's rebooted and here we are back at the login screen. Just close this up at the top. And this is the user that we created. So we're gonna type in the password associated with it that we did during the installation. And here we are at the desktop. So there's a few more things that it's gonna ask when you complete this installation, and that's about setting up online accounts. You can skip this by hitting the option at the top. And then uh, to help improve uh, Ubuntu, they're gonna be sending some information on the back end. That's up to you if you wanna leave it or not. And then click on next. And then for privacy, you can turn location services on or off. By default, it's off. Click on next and then you're ready to go. So they have some default applications, some popular ones that people like to use with uh, Ubuntu. Uh, it's up to you if you want to install it now or not, and then you can click on done. And this is the desktop for Ubuntu. This is version 21.20 running on a Windows 10 desktop, and I'll just expand this all the way up. And for the next part, what you want to do right now is probably install guest editions because you want that to run and allow it to run in full screen. So let me show you how to do that. Be clicking on the devices option at the top and click on insert guest editions and it asks if you want to run it you can just click on run it'll require a password and this is the password that you set up with and then we can just click on install now and it'll begin to install the guest editions on your computer so you can see that just pause here in the background i can just hit enter and allow it to continue Okay, so that took a few minutes to install. So just give you a heads up, it does take a bit for it to install everything. And once it's complete, you can just click on OK. And you may not notice any changes yet, but you will notice it when it restarts. So we're just gonna restart right now so you can see it, so you can watch it happen. Click on restart and we'll restart it right now. And we're back at the login screen. So I'm just gonna type in my password again here. Okay, so we're back at the desktop and I'm gonna to go to view and then I'm gonna select full screen mode to select it. It's gonna switch it by clicking on the switch option. So this is the desktop for Ubuntu 21.10 running in VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. We're at the desktop. You can go ahead and start installing applications and do whatever you'd like from this part forward. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you thought the video was useful, please drop a like. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you're looking for more videos on virtual machines and setups like this, you can check out our channel and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.